What is up, everyone? If y'all already figured it out, I look terrible. But at least she doesn't think so. That's right. It's one day before Valentine's Day, and I have a girlfriend. I, um, but, uh, I still hate Valentine's Day, though. And it's not necessarily just because I've been single longer than I've not been single. But it's just because of the fact that it's like, you know, Valentine's Day has always kind of had, like, a terrible, always kind of, like, gave me, like, terrible memories. Like, being in high school for Valentine's Day, you know, you always, you always, I was always surrounded by couples. But on Valentine's Day, it was just that much more annoying. It was like, because couples like to flex. And they always try to make it seem like, oh, no, we're not flexing. It was like, you two just got done, like, rubbing up on each other next to the lockers earlier. Can we just trying to get past y'all so I can go to class? You know, because it would be like, it would be like four couples in a row or something, something like that. But, um, you know, it's like they're, they're, they're already annoying. And, you know, so it's like, yay, we got a whole day to be even more annoying to the single people. And, um, and you know, it's like, you know, it's kind of like, it's either harmless, it's either intended to be harmless, or they genuinely want single people to feel like crap on that day. So, you know, but also another terrible memory that uh, connected me with um, Valentine's Day was, that was probably like, I was working, it had to be like 2019, and uh, it was, I was in Houston, I was working at this job. And I, you know, like, I'm never closing again after this, by the way. I, that, this was the moment where I realized I'm never closing again because I literally worked a 12-hour shift that day, like, washing dishes. Like, when I, normally when I think of 12-hour shifts, I think of, like, jobs, like, you know, working at the plant back in, you know, back in Louisiana, or working, like, in a coal mine. It's like, a job that really requires, you know, like, a bunch of people working at 12 hours. It was just me washing dishes for 12 hours because they did not close the bar down on valentine's day and to this day i'm still is like i still shudder at that you know and so that that is that stuck with me a little bit and i will always sort of just be a little malfeast about that i don't know if that's the word that i wanted to use but i'm using it <sighs> but yeah though couples are annoying and, uh, like, and I'm, I'm not saying this to say that, you know, I'm, I'm not the kind of guy who's going to go up to a couple and be like, you guys are annoying, go away. I'm not going to ever, I'm not trying to be like that, you know what I'm saying? But it does, but it does get a little stressful, you know, like going outside, you know, having to go outside on Valentine's day. And it's just like, Hey everybody, it's those two people who have been like all up in each other's mouths every single time you see them, they are now going to do it even more. And it's like, ah, can I at least go home? But like, I'm not gonna ever, I'm not gonna ever rain on the uh, couple's parade though. I know it sounds like I would, but nah, I'm just gonna look the other way, mind my own business, and uh, just try not to, just try not to, you know, be a rain on their parade. I just, I'm just gonna, you know, yeah. I'm gonna go over here now. Oh, there's a couple over there. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> um so yeah there's that a lot has been going on this week a lot has been going on this week uh george santos still exists i don't know like they're trying to kick him out of congress right now but they're not going to be able to the thing that makes me really mad about george santos and i, I probably brought this up before is that like like i like it's harder to get a regular job telling as many lies as he's told I mean, like, I don't think I could get a job working anywhere telling as many lies as he's told. But this dude somehow manages to get into Congress saying all the lies that he said. It's a little, uh, it's, it's a little bonkers to me because it's like, you know, you mean to tell me that, like, the jobs that y'all consider to be, like, on a lower level have, like, better clearance than this? I mean, Matt Gates is still in Congress. Matt Gates, the dude who apparently is um, transferring children across state lines for dubious means. Make with that what you will. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of wild to me. Like, you know, like if if I were if you were to do that and apply for any job, even if you were allegedly doing that, that job most likely will not hire you. 
You know what I mean? Like that job would just probably just probably not hire you. Like you would not just not get the job. Or you would get the job and everybody would know and you'll be like at least a subject of gossip in 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 the um in the workplace. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, this dude is in Congress and the Republicans don't even bring it up. It just stresses me out. <sighs> Like I, I'm, 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 my brain is broken on that logic because of how hard it is just to be a normal person with this kind of with with just committing the just committing the atrocities that these people commit while trying to just be a normal person would just make your life miserable. But because they, I don't know, earn enough money or do certain things or maintain themselves in such a fashion, they just cannot. Also, I'm, I'm learning a little bit about secret societies. Don't worry. It's not like I'm trying to join them or anything like that, even though I can't join them because I don't have access to uh, I don't have access to uh, affluent means or the connections involved. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's a little frustrating to have to put up with because, like, you know, like somebody actually brought up how um, a lot of uh, a lot of secret societies, they recruit through like either colleges or like uh, places of religion or or you have to be like part of a club or like part of some sort of tight knit society in order to you got to be part of something big in order to become part of the smaller thing. It's kind of like a top down sort of situation. And it's just tripping me out how that is. And that's kind of always been a thing. And um, I don't know. It's just it's. It's, it's just wild to me. Like, I did not know this. It's like, you can't just go to these places and be like, hey, I want to join your club. You have to have already been a part of, you, you got to be in like in some sort of Ivy League college in some fraternity. And, and you have to have been in that fraternity your entire time you were in college. And you have to, you know, you have to do certain things and then go into the dark room with the mask on and the smoke and mirrors. And people are going to be like, you know, you are now part of this group and you cannot leave. And then all of a sudden, Dr. Mothman is, uh, Mr. Mothman is uh, sitting you down and telling you why the lizard people don't like to be touched in a certain way. Yes, that is an inside job reference. I love that show. I hated the second season. Speaking of hating shows, uh, I'm watching Nip Tuck for the first time. I, uh, you know, that show was around when I was like, what, when I was a kid. And uh, I've always been sort of interested in what it is and what it could be. And I was, you know, I got my curiosity has peaked is on Hulu. I'm checking it out. I hate it. I hate the show. But that's only because I hate the fact that I'm in the first season and Christian is basically like, you know, obviously the writer's fantasy come to life. Like the writer clearly made Christian as a means to be the perfect guy. And, uh, and I don't like that. Uh, it feels lazy, but whatever i'm gonna like i hate the show but i gotta finish it now if that makes sense um there is a show that i did like a show that i did finish earlier this week it's called dogs in space and netflix i love that show so much man it's so adorable and yet it, it really tackles into a lot of a it really tackles to a lot of deeper issues such as abandonment issues um i want to say uh like ptsd kind of trauma it, uh, manipulation, uh, it kind of goes into, uh, you know, kind of like a fish out of water type situation, how revenge is actually really bad, you know, it's, it's like, it's such a cute show until you realize, whoa, hold on, like, Stardust is a god now? <laughs> so yeah, there's that, you know, I love that show, Ed is my least favorite character though, he feels useless, like, I don't know. I don't know specifically like what's his purpose is just I'm guessing he's just there as the humorous bad token bad character but I don't like him Ed is annoying but I love uh, I love uh, Nomi Nomi is so adorable just want to hug her um also another thing I kind of wanted to ramble about while it's uh, in my head I keep getting randomly added like like randomly added and followed and or stuff like that on Instagram and Facebook by like random bots like random little 
bots that are like these ridiculously attractive women that are clearly either that are clearly like manifested by dudes who is trying to steal money from you or something and the thing the reason why these things bug me because like it's so obviously bad that like like some, i remember one time uh some hot picture of some hot chick right she was trying to add me on facebook and her name was larry you know what i mean Larry last name, not the last name wasn't a last, the last name wasn't last name, but I forgot the last name, but it was like, like you didn't even try, <laughs> like, what is this about, man? Like, do I really, like, I know I'm not the best looking dude, you know what I mean? I know I look like this, I, I, do I really look like the kind of guy, like, even if I look like the kind of guy that would throw money at some random internet girl, right? You know, like, even if I look like the kind of guy who did that. I mean, just take a look at the background here. Just take a look at me. Look at how scruffy I look. Do I look like I have money at all? You know, it's like, what am, Like, what are you going to get out of me? What are you planning on getting out of me? Like, the, the thing that really stresses me out about this is that, like, there's a reason why this is still happening. Because, like, clearly there's guys on the internet who keep falling for this stuff. Because, like, if there was less guys who fell for this stuff, this stuff will probably not be nearly as prevalent as it is. You know what I mean? Like, there's so there's like maybe a, an onslaught of dudes on the internet who see these hot chicks named with these ridiculous names or like just using random pictures of other girls that they probably follow or whatever. And they're like falling for this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, critical thinking is just like not even there. Like, at no point do they look at this stuff and be like, yeah, there's something wrong here. Like, me personally, because of my bad luck with women, if an attractive woman were to add me on, like, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, whatever, here, you know what I'm saying? If they were to do that to me, the first thing I would go through my mind is, women have been shooting me down since, like, elementary school. You know what I mean? I didn't just, like, I've always looked like this. I just had less facial hair. You know what I mean? And I was a little lighter then you know a lot less fat but i've always looked like this and women hated me back then i'm only lucky enough to have gotten a girlfriend you know like roughly a few you know roughly a few years ago like four three years ago so it was like there is no glow up here <laughs> it's like if you're an attractive woman and you add me and you're like oh hey baby let's go meet up somewhere and do like do i this actually works on people. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've been called ugly probably more than I've ever been called attractive. Women have looked at me and immediately said, not him. Everyone but that guy. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just because of the fact that I know what I look like. And I know, like, how I like to think that I know. I, I know, like, at least three things in life. How to be broke. How to get rejected by women and just ultimately how to fail. So it's like I guess because I'm seeing stuff from the other side of the lens as often as I have, it it has helped me be skeptical of certain things. And the most skeptical I can be is this is a bot. <laughs> this is a bot or an attempt to scam me or something. Because ain't no way some random hot chick on the internet looked at my profile with like only like, I don't know, like, only a hundred people actually gave, actually give a crap. <laughs> and was like, yeah, that guy is definitely somebody who I'm trying to hook up with. <laughs> no way, man. No way. Absolutely not. Women thought I was ugly since, like, elementary school. Whatever. But, um, you know, but I did, like I said, I did get lucky and find at least, like, you know, find someone who didn't. I'm not even going to say I found her. She found me. She was like, she was like, you know what? Hey, I'm not a bot. I'm a real person. Give me a hug and see. Girlfriend now. That's all it takes. Yeah. Uh, my teeth aren't yellow, I swear. But, um. But, yeah, like, that's, uh. It's just weird how that happens, though. It's just. Like there's, it's like the only reason why it's so popular right now is because people fall for it. And I'm like, guys, women hate us sometimes, you know, like, 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 you know, just, just at the very least fake 
like you know that sometimes women just finds us bizarre or disgusting or whatever. I'm just saying. You might say you, you, you might not find yourself throwing money at someone you will never meet in person on the internet. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Love and peace, y'all. Be safe.